The next bit was the idea of logging detentions on Frog. So that when you're doing behavior, when, you, when you've got a behavior system, it's not just about incidents. It's about detentions, and it's about the whole gamut of everything you need to worry about. So when you book a student in, when you're into a detention, it actually creates a register entry so that when you fill out that form, it sends an email to the office staff so that they can send a message. You have a record that that detention has been booked and the reason for it. And then you also have the, uh, the register, which we can show you again. We can go into detail. We can get logged in if you're interested in this. But we've shown this to a few schools, and a couple of them have said, we're fine with our incidents, thank you very much. We're fine with detentions. We like the other bits. That's fine. It's frog. You just delete the pages. You don't need to use them. Which brings me on to the inclusion unit. Does everybody remember the headlines back in November about isolation units and how badly some schools were doing it? Taking students out of a, uh, a lesson for the day because their behavior was disruptive. If you read beyond the headlines, nobody was saying isolation was a bad thing. What they were saying is the way it was applied with lack of auditing, lack of evidence of what was going on, that was the bad thing. So my old school, when I was there, we built an inclusion unit inside Frog. And the idea is that the pastoral manager or the pastoral team books a student into the unit, books a student into the unit, and then also creates, which creates a record of why they were booked in, and it's a register as well, which can all be exported for data, but it also creates a page where the staff can upload work for that student for the day. So you don't get situations where students are sitting with nothing to do for eight hours in isolation. In fact, they're getting on with schoolwork, they're just not disrupting the rest of the class, and you're also able to report to your governors, to Ofsted, to anybody, your statistics on inclusion.